What is going on, guys? We are back with another video today, and this is post Packers versus Chiefs uh, commentary. I normally don't do this, but I didn't have a uh, video for today because the rebuild took too long to render, and overall, uh, I wanted something up and. I suppose this has been the most watched Packers game probably across the NFL for some time. And when we saw from Love, people that don't watch Packers games much, yes, he was not great. But a below average performance for a guy thrown into a situation that is not ideal, even though it's the Chiefs defense, is still a tough spot to be in. And you look at the other side, if you're going to say on paper, who would you rather have to play against? It's pretty even, right? The Chiefs and Packers both have a lot of vulnerabilities the Packers cornerback group right now is the worst in the league. I wouldn't say by far, but I would say it's worse in the league. Stokes got injured in warmups, and yet Mahomes didn't really play that well. I mean, overall, Mahomes was missing wide open throws, high, low. There were some, you know, errors by his receivers. Uh, there was a big Kelsey play where it was behind him, but overall, it should have been caught anyways. But realistically, Mahomes didn't look good. I don't know what's up with him. I'm not sure if he's hesitating, double thinking. His, I, I just don't get it. I like for today's game, he had a pretty clean pocket most of the day. I mean, I say it a lot when Rodgers is in, but if you just switch offensive line play alone this game, I think the Packers walk away with it. I mean, yes, Mahomes is a bit better. Obviously, uh, you know, I want to say just identifying the blitz, but working against the blitz, Love looked atrocious against it. But there was plays where it wasn't even like a crazy blitz. It was just a simple five-man, and somebody would come in untouched off the edge. Love wasn't great, like I said, processing. Some of the throws were bad. You know, he kind of reverted to just throwing it up when he's under pressure instead of rolling out or stepping up. But Matt LaFleur has got to do better. There's got to be more plays of the running back in the backfield blocking, more chips from the tight end. Stop having Alan Lazard as your slot receiver. He's 6'5", the worst, worst agility than probably Aaron Donald, which I know isn't like the craziest thing because Aaron Donald's just a freak, but worse agility than Aaron Donald, the speed of like a of a 40-year-old Gronkowski, and he's your slot guy. You keep running these 10, 15-yard in, like, in-cutting routes. There was no drags, no slants. The, the sh shots to the flat were all to Dylan, and Dylan did a pretty good job in fairness, but... Where was the creativity? Where were the swing plays? I know there was a couple of swing plays, and Jordan Love just kind of, he was like, oh, yeah, wow, what's a swing pass? Randall Cobb was basically just a decoy, which maybe that was by design, but I highly doubt it because he was actually open quite a bit, and he actually made some really big plays this game, uh, you know, kind of showing that it's not always about the player. It is about where they're playing, which, you know, for the quarterback situation in Green Bay, the last, like, half decade is not a great place to play if you're QB, but obviously Randall Cobb has actually looked pretty decent when he gets his chance, um, but overall, the scheme, the play calling was really bad. I, I mean, I felt like there was more, I know, once again, Love did kind of revert to just throwing it up when he was in trouble, but it seems like there was more set up deep plays in this game than when Rodgers is in. I know you got MVS back for the first time since, like, what, week two or three, and I know you're excited to get the deep game going, but the pressure is getting to your quarterback instantly. He's not doing well with it. He's not identifying it well. He's not reading the defense super well because there's guys in his face all the time. And you're going deep. I would have loved to see the Tom Brady special all check downs all the time. Aaron Jones out of the backfield was not nearly as common as once you would have thought. I don't understand what happened there. Give credit to the Chiefs cornerbacks. They actually played better than uh, they normally would. But once again, when you're playing the Packers, A, receivers outside of uh, Devontae, who had, uh, you know, press coverage the majority of the game with Tyron Matthew kind of shading over to his side quite a bit. Uh, but overall, you have these Packers receivers, like once again, Lazard. Yes, he can make some plays. And yes, he had the touchdown as a sick little move, but he's really not twitchy at all. You kind of can tell where he's going nine times out of ten. Uh, obviously, the tight end situation with Robert Tanyan out for the year is not a great one. I uh, really didn't see anyone open there. And once again, we don't know how Rodgers is going to play with that situation. We've seen Rodgers play really badly this year. Look at what happened with the Saints game. I mean, you can almost argue that that performance, and I don't even know if I would argue it, was worse than Love versus the Chiefs. I will say, obviously, there's a bit of a difference in tier of defenses there. But once again, it's still an NFL defense in love, played about as well as I was going to expect. I thought I was going to see a little bit more out of him. When he had time, though, the throws were there. 
but that's the NFL. It's not a clean pocket situation, once again, unless you're Tom Brady. <laughs> but you're not going to get a clean pocket often. You have to make your reads, but I still place a lot of the blame on LaFleur. And yes, we will get into the whole special team situation. What is up with Green Bay? I'm not even, like, I'm worried about the field goal unit, obviously, but what is up with this return game? They don't get any yards. They muff half their free. I don't know what the stats are. I would imagine at least maybe a fifth of their punts have been muffed or bobbled of some sort. It's actually ridiculous. Costed us uh, three points. And because I believe it took them a little bit to get in, it may have even costed the drive. Now, I will say it could have been worse, you know, if Packers had the ball inside their own five. Even though they did okay today in that situation a few times, could have safety, could have punted, they could have returned for touching. You never know. But realistically, three points there. The game is now 7-10. to 10. Do the Chiefs finish up there at the end of the game differently? Probably, maybe. I don't know. The Chiefs have been, were pretty bad on offense all day. Uh, credit to the Packers' run defense. And uh, overall, I wouldn't say pressure because Mahomes had a clean pocket the majority of the day. But I guess just the safety play was huge. Sa- uh, Savage and Amos were flying around the field and making plays all afternoon. Once again, the field goal unit from Green Bay. Two blundered plays costing field goals easy field goals too. I mean, Butker ended up hitting what a 54 55 with quite a bit of wind. We missed two from like 40 or something like that because of just issues. The Packers win the game on paper with those mistakes fixed alone. Nine point swing there. Um, but obviously there were some mistakes from the Kansas city. You can't ignore, even though green Bay's defense was lights out, you can't ignore some of the drops that costed first downs and whatnot. But overall it was a performance that I mean, no team, either team shouldn't really be happy with unless you're Packers defense. But if you're the Chiefs, you really worry about your team. I don't know what is going on with Kansas City. That defense, I know they got away with one today by just blitzing all day. They're not going to get away with that against most teams. Even if just Rodgers is in alone, him being able to identify it, change the protections, change up the routes to get something out quick. You know, Love never looked comfortable, obviously. The play calling wasn't great, and he doesn't have the uh, the... I would say the experience to be able to make those audibles and whatnot. I I mean, I think the Chiefs get whooped up if Rodgers is there. It's probably 30 to 13 or something like that. So realistically, the Chiefs by far have more issues going forward with the obvious eventual Aaron Rodgers spiritual hippie man coming back. Um, at you know Maybe even next week, depending. Obviously, I think it's like a 10-day process thing. And I think he gets he's probably about 9 or 10 days around the next time they have to play. Uh, I don't know when the Packers' bye week is, by the way. That'd be really awkward if it actually was next week. But overall, the Packers obviously look pretty damn good considering. I mean, yeah, they were at number one for the power rankings for a lot of different sites. I can't imagine they fall too much after this. The majority of the offense is going to be blamed on Rodgers not being there, which is all his fault technically anyways. Um, But that's pretty much my take. Mahomes looks off. Can they fix it? Probably. They have too much firepower not to. But it's this far into the season. They still haven't figured it out. And once again, that defense, I just think against any quarterback that's average to above average and any team that doesn't have an offensive line that is literally bottom three in the league right now, I don't care what anyone says, it is easily bottom three. Uh, I just think they struggle. I don't. I just don't think it's going to happen. The Chiefs have always gotten away with outscoring their opponents, and they can't do that. They put up 13 points against Green Bay's defense with no Jair, no Stokes, no Zadarius. Kenny Clark was out half the game. Don't get me wrong, Devontae Campbell has been great all around, and Barnes has been pretty good in run defense, but they got to do better. And they're honestly lucky to win against a Packers offense that looked atrocious. Honestly, I thought the Packers offense was going to give up more points than they were going to score today. And uh, that's pretty much my take. Let me know what you guys think. Was Ron or when it was Rogers? Was Love just awful to you? Did you uh, did you think like I did where he had some bad plays? There were some obvious situations where he just completely blew it, but a lot of it was just bad pressure. Not great play calling and inexperience at the offensive line or at the line to uh, you know make the right play call adjustments, you know protections and whatnot. Like I said though, I mean no Tanya. Not that he's been great this year, but who knows what happens when Rodgers comes back? No Tanya. That position is when you're playing against Green Bay. I mean maybe I'm just kind of disrespecting Deguara a little bit, 
But when you're playing Green Bay, you kind of just ignore it, right? That's why Mercedes Lewis has actually had some surprisingly long plays over this last season. Uh, just because you, you kind of just ignore the tight end spot because you don't need to. You double up Devontae, you cover the running back, and, I mean, the Packers' defense, offense is dead. Like, what do you do? The ground game is really the best thing in Green Bay right now just because of the lack of creativity and lack of skill at the receiver position. It's It's not great, and... I will still say, though, with Rodgers in, anything can happen, and that defense is playing really well. So going forward, I would still like the Packers' chances more than the Chiefs. But, I mean, for two teams that would go in into the NFL season as the front runners, probably very close to the front runners of the league, I mean, you know, not, not the greatest performance for the game of the week, I'll tell you that. But anyways, that's about it. Tomorrow will be a Raiders episode and a rebuild. I don't know which would come out first. Probably. I don't know. We'll see. With that being said, I still think we'll stream around 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, even though a lot of people aren't going to be able to re watch the whole rebuild because, once again, it's a long one. Um, but, yeah, I'll let you know on the community tab. There will be, speaking of community tab, will be a second channel upload as well, uh, Far Cry uh, Part 2, Far Cry 6 Part 2, around probably 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's the second channel. I don't really care what time those are up. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of the week. Uh, you know, I wasn't able to watch many of the games. I'll have to catch up on most of it. So let me know if something crazy happened, your favorite team happened. Also, Deshaun Jackson of the Raiders. Who would have thought? But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys come back for the next video. But until next video, see ya!